Welcome to our short Zuko overview video. Zuko is the only specialist form analytics platform on the market. It's been specifically designed to deliver in-depth metrics on your forms that Google Analytics or other tools won't give you. These insights help you improve the user experience of your forms and will ultimately increase the volume of customers and prospects successfully completing them. If you'd like a more personalized demo, you can book one using the form on our website. Zuko has several reports that will reveal the behavior of your form visitors. In this first report, Zuko gives you an overview of form visitors so you can understand the broad trends. You can see how many people visited your form, whether they interacted with the form, and then whether they went on to complete or to abandon. This translates into completion rates over time. So if you make any changes, you can track whether they're having a positive impact. Other metrics you can see in this report are session duration, how long people are spending on the form, and field returns. Are they returning to have to correct a particular question? We also look at failed submissions over time. So you can see the number of people who have filled out your form, submitted, but have not successfully completed. And we also track error messages. So you can see the number of times a visitor sees a particular error message. The second of Zuko's basic reports digs down into the individual fields on your form. It's designed to help you identify where your visitors are struggling so you can make changes and reduce the friction in their journey. The report displays three key metrics. Where users abandon in your form, where do they drop out? Which fields do they have to return to to correct? And how long do they spend on each individual field? The information's available in graphical and table form. Uh, and you can also look at individual fields over time. So you can see what happens to their abandonment rate if you make a change in your instructional copy, validation or error messages, for example. One of the important things we look at is the difference in behavior between users who abandon your form and users who successfully complete the form, because that can be a big indicator of form friction. Zuka automatically segments these groups. So if you spot a big difference in behavior between for one of these metrics, then it's likely you've identified one of your problem fields. In addition to the basic reports, Zuko has a number of advanced reports that allow you to dig deeper into your form user behavior. First of these is the field flow report. This lets you see how users flow through your form from one field to the next. You can see if they move through the form as you designed it, or if they do something unexpected. The report's also great for looking at behavior around failed submissions. You can see what users who abandon do immediately after hitting the submit button, and this helps reveal the fields that they're struggling with. For example, in this case with a continue button, we can see that 64% of users drop out immediately after clicking. However, we can also see that 10% of uh, users jump back to username and 5% go to email address before dropping out immediately afterwards. So these show that these two fields here, username and email address, are significant drivers of friction, so should be reviewed. If you want to dig deeper still, Zuko Session Explorer report lets you view individual user sessions. The way it works is you set the parameters at the top, and then from top to bottom, you can see how individual users flow through your form, each of these columns representing a user session. So let's look at number 10 here. We can see that this user is flowing through the form, interacting with the individual fields, going along nicely until they hit continue. You can then see they're jumping backwards. So username, continue, username, continue. And then you can see this looping pattern of back and forth until eventually they abandon infrustration. So this report is great for demonstrating that you've lost an individual customer because of a bad form experience. So it's very good for internal discussions to show that there may be an issue with a particular part of your form.
Moving on from that, we know that many forms are built as multi-steps. Zuko's Funnel Builder report allows you to visualize each step in your form and understand where the dropout is happening. Some Zuko customers are short on time and they just want to get to the answers quickly. This is why we built the Insight Report. It brings together a collection of metrics linked to your form abandonment so you can quickly see which of your form fields are the most problematic so you can focus on optimizing them first. An important part of analyzing your forms is to segment the data by audience. Zuko has been built to be very flexible in setting this up. You can use our out of the box audiences such as device type, operating system, browser type, or new versus returning users if you want. Alternatively, you can set up your own. Common audiences that Zuko users set up include traffic source, product, and the A-B test variants. Once you've selected your audience segmentation, Zuko lets you build your own report so you can compare their behavior side by side. The form data segmentation report shows you the differences on a form level. In this instance, we're looking at mobile users compared to desktop users. And what we can see is over the period that desktop users have a higher starter to completion rate and view to completion rate than mobile users do. You can also view this information over time. So if you make any changes, you can see if they affect different audiences differently. Taking it further, we can also analyze this at a field level. So you can see whether certain audience groups are struggling with individual fields. In this case, we're looking at mobile and desktop users again. And what we can see, interestingly, is that mobile users have a higher abandonment rate on the email field than desktop users do. This gives us focus into where our problems might be, and we can have a look at optimizing the email field for mobile users. The final thing to show you is Zuko's alerting system. You can set up alerts to trigger when your form breaks. This means you'll get early warning and you can fix it right away rather than having hours or days when your customers can't buy from you and you don't know anything about it. So that's Zuko for you. If you'd like to understand more on how it can improve the volume of new customers converting from your forms, then sign up for a personalized demo or a free trial using the links below.